when there's good children's theater, it's good theater. And if it's good theater, it, you, you would like it, even if it's for children. That's what I think. I know for the Velveteen Rabbit, I feel like it's both a story for kids and for much older people. Because it's both about being a young child and loving a toy or a friend. And it's also about what it means to get old. In 1986, my son was two, and I decided I would like to uh, make a dance to the story of the Velveteen Rabbit. Mind you, I had never read it before myself as a child. I only heard it as a mother. My first version of hearing it was a bedtime story recording, and it is through that that I defined the scenes and really determined how I was going to produce the story is through listening to it. When I first made the dance, I really did watch my son because I took him to live performance since he's been six months old. And he loved it when he saw his peers on the stage. And he loved it when someone was reading to him or he heard language on stage. There was once a velveteen rabbit. Usually when the bunny first comes out, they go, the rabbit. I think ODC's physicality, tossing, sliding, kids can relate to. And the adults love Nana. Now Nana is the, the main adult figure in the show and she represents stern love. The fairy is also played by the same person. And fairy, I think, is a very much like the kind of love you have for your first child. Pure love. Run and play, little rabbit. I think nature is a beautiful thing. And all the wild rabbits come from nature. So I like that aspect. I think nature is mysterious, beautiful, and not something our kids get very much these days. There is fantastical spectacle these days, partly because of computers and what's happened with film. So I feel in live performance, in a way being pared down, you can be more successful and you can just ask everybody to buy in to the world you're in. And if it's a simple world, they will buy into it, as long as the world is consistent that you have on stage. And um, in some ways, I also want that message for kids. You know, the world doesn't have to be spectacle. The world can be about relationships and how you feel and having fun and taking things seriously and, and not about being blown away. What is real? Asked the rabbit one day. It's a thing that happens to you when a child loves you for a long, long time. I think it's a success because, you know, for the most part, if you're three to seven years old, you sit in these seats and most of the time the kids are engaged and they laugh and ask questions and I think that's also a sign of success. And I think the fact that we tour it and do it here and we still have audiences says it's lasting. I really want to say that the reason why it's lasting is because the story that Marjorie Williams wrote is a gem of a story. You know, If it was just an okay story, it wouldn't have lasted this long. I have had people come up to me and say that was the first dance show I ever saw and that's why I'm a choreographer today. I've had people come back after being in the show and come back to see it when they're 20 and 23 years old. I you know little kids and people in their 50s and 60s who tell me how much they love it. And they come back more than once, you know, they come back year after year. <laughs>